Welcome back to another episode of Music Production School Online, which are quick music production tutorials to make your music sound better. On this quick Ableton tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard to place a play and test out notes and melodies in Ableton. Now, a couple of things I'm going to say is that one, from the keyboard basically, you can only do one octave. You can adjust the octave, but keep in mind, you can't do like multi-octave playing if that's your goal. And the second thing is that this is not basically a velocity, or there's no velocity to the keys. What I mean is that when you play any piano, if I go like boom, it's gonna be like a harder note, but then I go boom, like so. So when you naturally play a piano, the sound you're gonna be hearing has different basically a velocity to it, just inevitably. But when you play basically on your computer keyboard or basically play a melody, there's no velocity to it. So that's just something to keep in mind. So here's how you do it. So I have a random VSC load up here. It's actually the VSC02 piano. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this right here. This basically means that when I am gonna be playing a VST, this is the one that I want to be playing when I basically play it, whether I'm using a MIDI keyboard or a computer keyboard. Next thing I'm gonna do is go up here, and if you notice, I have a little keyboard thing right here. So I'm gonna click that, and that basically enables the computer keyboard. So now when I play on the computer, you can hear it, right? So I can do, right? Now I'm gonna be honest, for me when I produce, this is actually the main method I use. I actually, I used to use like a whole 88 key MIDI keyboard. And over time, I'm like, you know what? I actually think it's almost faster for me because I usually either like hear the melody in my head or like to test it out very quick to use a computer keyboard where I can do this and quickly go to my mouse and go back and forth. Now in, in order to basically adjust the octave, I'm gonna use Z and X. So I will say A is C and then K is C and then everyone in between. And then obviously the upper part of the keyboard is basically the black keys. Now, Z or X, adjust the octave, so I can go. Right, like so. And I will say, this is something that over time, you'll get used to. Being honest, like I said, this is not something that I'm gonna play. It's not like I can, like, I can do it like a C chord, right? But if someone said, oh, can you play for Elise, for example, on this computer keyboard? Probably not. I mean, if it's, it's theoretically, I guess, possible, maybe, but like, with different octaves and actually just being able to play, it's not very useful for like the kind of the dexterity if you want to actually play piano. And I did classical piano for 10 years. So if I want the dexterity to play piano, obviously I need a MIDI keyboard. But if I actually just want to test out a melody, like I'm like, huh, does that work or? Right, if I'm just trying to like test out a melody real quick, it's easy for me to do that quick just with the computer keyboard. And in addition to it, let's say you're tight on money and you're like, shoot, I can't afford a MIDI keyboard right now. I can't afford any other equipment. Just use your computer keyboard and you're good to go.